Welcome to the Solar Decathlon Minute. Coming up, we'll announce the team currently in first place. But first, here's the first man of the Solar Decathlon, Richard King. It's day two of the competition and we are in full swing. Teams are accruing points by the minute. To find out how scoring works, let's go talk to Joe Simon, our competition manager. The competition is made up of 1,000 total points and we'll talk about some of the other contests later this week, but for today, we'll be talking about the measured contest, of which there are 220 points. The way that breaks down is that 100 of those points are given on how well the teams keep their houses comfortable. Another 100 points is their energy use. The refrigerator and freezer are worth just 20 points combined. However, 20 points can determine the whole contest at the end. Uh, so we have uh, wireless temperature and humidity sensors for the house. Um, to, some of them are measuring the temperature and humidity of the rooms inside the house. And then we also have uh, a measurement of the refrigerator temperature and the freezer temperature. And then outside the house, we're also measuring total energy going in and out of their house from the grid. And we can look at any of those numbers and, and graph them on our uh, software here in the in our trailer. Here we see on our graph over here, we're measuring, um, these are all the indoor temperature measurements. Uh, indoor temperatures, teams score full points if their indoor temperature measurements are between these dashed lines. So the teams here, all these colored lines that were within those points, they were earning full points during that part of the contest. And uh, what a lot of us get excited about is to look at the energy balance. And the team that produced the most energy compared to their consumption is Team Crowder Drury up here. You can see they're definitely, they're definitely the pack leaders. These teams, though, after the first day of the contest, they're all winners because the purpose of this contest is to show that you can produce more energy than you consume. So if the contest were to stop right now, these teams would all be winners. They've all produced more energy than they've consumed. So who's in first place as of mid-afternoon on day two? The team that has the most points is Stevens, which leads you at Buffalo by only a few hundredths of a point. That's it for today's Solar Decathlon Minute. Tune in tomorrow to see which team leads in points on day three.